Sleeping with the enemy And her name is Self Gotta kill the past and put the hoe up on the shelf Never to be seen again Yeah I must be born again With I'm a king now, me. I'm a king now I ain't never ever trying to be a nigga again I had to give up some friends, I had to give up my sins Got in the word and now my spirit is cleansed Red Deuteronomy, my spirit bear witness John 6, 63, it's a spirit. Yesterday I was uh, confronted by an Edomite mm -hmm. By my friends mm -hmm. And she started talking to me And while we get into conversation She said, uh, what's that? I told her that was given to the children of Israel mm -hmm. And she said to me that uh, she is also grafted to the oh. tribe of uh, Judah. <laughs> <laughs> Judah! Here's your, here's your answer. Here's your answer for spiritual Israel. Rome is not. Because there ain't no spiritual Israelites on the face of the earth. Grafted in. Why do I'm grafted on the spirit of Judah? The tribe of Judah. You ain't from the tribe of Judah. Why are they trying to claim my tribe? <laughs> Dang. Uh, give me that Romans chapter 9 verse Start at 1 Romans chapter 9 and verse 1 I say the truth in Christ I lie not My conscience also bearing me witness In the Holy Ghost That I have great heaviness And continual sorrow in my heart But I could wish that myself were accursed From Christ for my brethren, his brothers, this is Paul speaking. What tribe is bro, uh, uh, Paul from, brothers? Benjamin. Uh, let's go to Romans 11 and 1. Let's read it. Right. Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. Go back to Romans. Romans yeah. chapter 9 and verse 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to what? According to the flesh. According to the flesh. He's telling you off top. There are no spiritual Israelites. This is by bloodlines. That's right. That's right. According to the flesh. Who are who? Who are Israelites. Uh -huh. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. That's right. Now go to um, Isaiah 46. I'm going to show you that it's, it's, this is the, by the seed that you come from. All right? I know we read in Galatians, it's all talking about spiritual and all that type of stuff. And it's going into, uh, he's not a Jew, neither out, outward, all of that type of stuff. <laughs> That's because we was walking around pretending what we weren't doing that God says. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, the Israelites, this is a descendant thing. Isaiah 46 and 3. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 3. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, which are born. Which are what? Which are born mm -hmm. by me from the belly. From the word? From the belly. So they didn't, what no spiritual Israelites? Which are carried from the womb. God don't know nothing about no spiritual Israelites. When we read in Romans about grafted in, he's talking about the northern kingdom, so-called Hispanics coming back to God. So uh, go to uh, 49 and 1. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 1. Listen, O owls, unto me. And hearken ye people from far. The Lord have called me from the womb. From the where? From the womb. Mm -hmm. From the bowels of my mother have he made me mention of my Read name. Again, he made what? Of the bowels of my mother of my mother have he made mention of my name. That's why he told Jeremiah, he said, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Jump down to verse 5. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 5. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant. From to, the word he formed us from where? From the womb mm -hmm. to be his servant. Mm -hmm. To bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord. And my God shall be my strength. Read on. 
And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob uh -huh. and to restore the preserved of Israel. That's what we're supposed to do. Restore the preserved, the remnant. Read on. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Now that word Gentiles, by the uh, figure, but white people just popped in your head just like that. <laughs> Let's see who he's talking about with Gentiles. Because we're supposed to be a light to the Gentiles, right? Matthew 4. Here is your answer. If you ever wanted to know who those Gentiles were in the New Testament, it's never been white people. Those people in Colossae was never white people. Those people in Corinthians was never white people. Matthew chapter 4, verse 12, on down. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 12. Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. Galilee is northern Israel. Samaria. Read on. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, mm -hmm. which is upon the sea coast in the borders of Zebulon and Naphtali. Zebulon and Naphtali, two tribes of the nation of Israel. Let's see what they said about him. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah. The That's prophet, Isaiah. Read on. The prophet saying, the land of Zebulon, and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. It was what? Galilee of the Gentiles. The land of the Gentiles. So what was they calling Zebulon and Naphtali, the northern kingdom? What, what was they calling them, brothers? Gentiles. Gentiles. And what happened? Because we read it said you shall be a light to the Gentiles, right? Read on down. Verse 16. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 16. The people which sat in darkness. They did what? The people which sat in darkness. We just read in Isaiah 49 that we're supposed to be a light to the Gentiles. Read on. Saw great light. And to them which sat in the region in shadow of death, light is sprung up. So those Israelites that needed to be, or those Gentiles that needed to be grafted back in, was the northern kingdom tribes. Ephraim, Manasseh, Naphtali, Zebulon, Issachar. They was following the ways of the heathen. Now go to Romans chapter 9. We'll go through this quick. And we'll go through the whole thing. Uh, Romans chapter 11. Romans chapter 11, verse uh, verse 11. 11 and 11. Let's start there. Let's read quick. Romans 11 and verse 11. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? Has the other tribe stumbled that they should fall? Read God on. forbid. But rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. So Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, who had the commandments, they failed. How did they fall? When Christ showed up on the scene, they said, you're not the Messiah. Read on. For to provoke them to jealousy. Uh -huh. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world. I'll show you what those riches of the world are. Go to verse on the back side of 11 and verse 30 through 32 or 33. 33. Yep, 33. Read that. Romans chapter 11 and verse 33. Of the death of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. Go back to now verse 12. Romans chapter 11 and verse 12. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world. Now that wisdom and knowledge of God has now been sent from the southern kingdom and went down to the other tribes, the northern kingdom. Because they didn't know about Christ. That's why uh, when, when they rejected Jesus, he always escaped and he went to the northern tribes. When they rejected Paul, he said, uh, uh, we shake the dust off our feet. We go into the Gentiles down. That's how it had to be set up. Zechariah 12 and 7. He saved the tents of Judah first, then he went to the other places. Read on. And the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles. Uh -huh. How much more their fullness. For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. So he's gotta he's gotta put his resume on here. I'm the I'm the apostle, y'all. Christ sent me to y'all. Read on. If by any means I may provoke to emulation 
them which are my flesh mm -hmm. and might save some of them. Of, him, of his flesh. What tribe, what kingdom was uh, Paul from? Uh, Yuri, what, what kingdom? Kingdom. Southern kingdom, right? That's what he's talking about. Emulation them which are my flesh. Read on. And might save some of them. Mm -hmm. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? This is how you know it's not talking about uh, what we know as white people. You can't reconcile something that was never put together in the first place. Show me where God was the God of all the other nations in the Old Testament. It's not there. That's why you gotta pay attention to words. Reconciling. He's bringing something back together. Go ahead. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. That's talking about Christ. That's in Revelation. Go ahead. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Uh -huh. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakest of the root, in fatness of the olive tree. Hold your finger there. Go to Jeremiah. I'm going to show you what the branches are talking about. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 16 and 17. Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 16. The Lord called thy name a green olive tree. There goes that olive again. Read on. Fair and of, good, and, and of goodly fruit with the noise of a great tumult. He hath kindled fire upon it. And the branches of it are broken. The what are? The branches of it are broken. Let's get the name for those branches. Read verse 17. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee have pronounced evil against thee. For the evil of the house of Israel, of, of Israel, uh -huh. and of the house of Judah, Read on. which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger and offering incense unto Baal. That's why they was broken off. They worshiped other gods, Baal. Go back to Romans now, chapter 11. We're going to read verse 16. Romans chapter 11 and verse 16. For if the first, if, for if the first fruits be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Mm -hmm. And if some of the branches be broken off. Now we got a name for those branches. Israel and Judah. Some of them was broken off. Read on. And thou being a wild olive tree. Who was a wild olive tree? It was the northern kingdom who did not keep the commandments of God. They worshipped who? We just read it. Baal. Baal. Read on. Were grafted in among them and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Mm -hmm. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root deep. So he said, you was brought back in through faith. They fell and he allowed you to come back through faith. Now don't get high-minded thinking you better than them because you was allowed back in. That's in Zechariah 12 and 7. Read on. Verse 19. That will say then, the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. So now you think it's about you. You done did something. Read on. Well, well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. Who did they not believe in when he showed up on the scene? Christ. Christ. Read on. And thou standest by faith. Standest by what? By faith. There we go. Read on. Be not high-minded, but fear. Mm -hmm. For if God spared not the natural branches. Those natural branches was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that was keeping the law. Take heed, lest he also spare not thee. Mm -hmm. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity, severity. Of, severity of God on them which fell. Severity. Severity. He sent them, he sent them eventually sent us the, the southern kingdom out in, uh, on the west coast of Africa. Read on. Check, on check. them which fell. Severity, but toward thee. Goodness, mm -hmm. and thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. Read on. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, if they come to the belief and the understanding that Christ is the chief cornerstone. Read on. Shall be grafted in. Uh -huh. For God is able to graft them in again. He can bring them back again. He's God. He do what he wants to. That's his people. Read on. For if that were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, 
how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? Read on. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceit. So the olive branch is being broken off is a mystery, a parable between the northern and the southern kingdom, Judah and Israel, not other people. He just put it in a, a perspective of an olive tree. Branches broke it off. But you have to have the precepts, which is more, as some of them, to understand that. Read on. That blindness in part is happened to Israel. And who? To Israel. Go to Matthew 23. It said blindness, right? Matthew 23, uh, verse 15, 16. Matthew chapter 23 and verse 15. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. Who do you call hypocrites? Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. Read verse 17. Ye fools and blind. And what? And blind. Read verse 19. Ye fools and blind. Read verse 24. Ye blind guides. Read verse 26. Thou blind Pharisee. Go back to Romans. <laughs> Romans chapter 11 and verse what? 25 again. Romans chapter 11 and verse 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. Lest you should be wise in your own conceit. You think it's about you. You think God loved you so much that he, he cast them away so we could come in because he loved us more than he loved them. Read on. That, that blindness in part is happened to Israel. Who, who was blinded, brothers? We just read it. Scribes, Scribes and Pharisees. Because they did not see that Christ was the Messiah. Read on. Until the fullness of the Gentiles become until, in. Until the prophecies are fulfilled. Now, let's sum it all up. Verse 26. And so all Israel. And who? So all Israel. So everything you read before that, he just summed it up in verse 26. Shall be saved. What? Shall be saved. That's what the whole parable of branches being grafted in is talking about Israel. Twelve tribes coming back together. Here's the precept for it. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel chapter 37. We're going to get straight to the point. We're going to read verse 15 on down. All right? Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 15. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick. One stick. A stick is made from what, brothers? Branch. A wood, a tree, a branch, right? Read on. And write upon it for Judah. And for the children of Israel, his companions. For Judah and his companions. Who was with Judah in the southern kingdom after the split brothers? What tribes? Levi, Levi and Benjamin. Those was his companions. Read on. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim. The Ephraim would be the head tribe of the northern kingdom, and it's all the rest of them. Read on. And for all the house of Israel, his companions. So Judah, for Ephraim, for Manasseh, for Gad, Reuben, Simeon, right on that same stick. These are the two head tribes. Judah of the southern kingdom, Ephraim of the northern kingdom. Read on. And join them one to another into one stick. You join two sticks together. What are you doing, brothers? Oh, that went right over everybody's head. We just read it all in Romans chapter 11. When you take two sticks together, what are you doing, brothers? Y'all don't know. Y'all still ain't caught the tree. Go back to Romans 11. All right, it's all right. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. That's why we're here. Put the precepts together. All right, let's get straight to the point. Romans chapter 11, verse 17. Romans chapter 11 and verse 17. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them. There was what? Grafted in among them. Go back to Ezekiel 37 and 17. Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 17. And join them one to another into one stick. Uh -huh. And they shall become one in thine hand. So when you put two sticks together like Mr. Miyagi did with the bonsai trees, you are doing what, brothers? Right. Grafting them in. Here's further proof. Jump down to verse 21. Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 21. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel, from among the heathen, 
whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. You see how he didn't say Israel and Judah? Now who is he referring to? He's referring to all 12 tribes now. When you see Israel and Judah, he's talking about the split. When he says Israel, he's referring to all of us. He said, I'm going to take Israel and gather them together and bring them into their own land. Read on. And I will make them one nation. You're going to make them what? One nation. Uh -huh. And the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all. Uh -huh. And they shall be no more two nations. Shall be no more what? Two nations. Uh -huh. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore They're at all. They're not going to be two different branches. Read on. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned. And will cleanse them, so shall they be my people, and I will be their God. So that is what Paul is quoting in Romans 11, Ezekiel 37. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, and all the other ten tribes coming back together again into one nation as the Israelites. So that's your precept. Some of them, if they hit you with the spiritual Israel, ain't none. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.